We expect a good one out of this Diamond Dynasty matchup between the Baltimore Orioles and the Cubs. Now at the plate, Jose Iglesias. He'll get us started in this one Lead under the lights. He's ready. The Here's the first time. offering. Jose so a rather weak start to the at-bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. Down and away, ball one. Weather not much of an issue tonight. A mild 65 degrees here at game time. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Here now the 2-2. Again, he sends it out of play. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. Got a second. The first base. For Ryan Mountcastle started to go around, but it's a cold strike. 0 and 1. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike, too. When I see guys check swinging, they're, they're not seeing the baseball. They're not picking it up. you got to take a step back. The only thing you tell yourself in this situation is do not move That's your head. The third baseman, Renato. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And he fouls this one off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging in, Ian Happ. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For Chicago, no fielder, Ian Happ. Pitch on the way. Lifted in the air out to right. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. Now to the plate, Andre Dawson, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mancini moving back at the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Got him third. The second baseman. Into the box now. Ryan Sandberg. And he'll probably send it in the air out to center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. He'll get it into second. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And they'll run him down and tag him for the out. Got him third. The third baseman. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Runner in scoring position with two gone. This one's flared out toward left. In there, a base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. That is good. That took up Ernie Banks. In now, Ernie Banks. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Stewart will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the power-hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike, 0-2. Oh, and it's fouled away. The next 0-2. Oh, it's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away. And when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Trey Mancini goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Anthony Santander comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. 
And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Fouled away. The one two. Fouled off. Now another one two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Hanser Alberto. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Banks is there, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Billy Williams. The first baseman, Billy. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Alberto gloves it. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now at the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Now a big swing, and this ball is crushed out to deep center field. Into the bleachers, and gone! At the plate, Jimmy Fox. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. Mancini moving back to the track. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Batting up. The pitcher, Garrett. Standing in now, Garrett Cole. As he grounds one briskly to short, Iglesias is up with it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ian Happ, he flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A-B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A-B. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Alberto fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily. Standing in, DJ Stewart. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Pedro Severino. First pitch of the at-bat. 0-1 the count. One strike now from Cole. No ball, two strikes. And it's fouled away. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little That's resistance tough. here, and there are two away. Wade LeBlanc. Wade LeBlanc is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. A ball and a strike to the Oriole hurler. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Two balls and a strike. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Three and one to him now. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning.
bottom of the third now. And that means up next, it'll be the Hall of Famer, Andre Dawson. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. In the air now, out to right field. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. Standing in, Ryan Sandberg. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Around first, digging for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now batting, third baseman. Red. Here's Chris Bryant now. Oh, yeah. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Now batting, Ernie Banks. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Becomes set. Here's the nothing to nothing pitch. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. At the plate now, Billy Williams. That's lifted the other way out to left. Santander waits on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. Here it comes. The shortstop, Jose Now the 1-0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Now bad. Digging in, Ryan Mountcastle. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Fouled away. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Renato. Here comes the first pitch. Renato Nunez stands in as he looks at a called strike. Behind 0-2 now. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now Ready for another chance? Jimmy Fox. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Pitch on the way. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Ready now. Garrett Cole. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Mancini moving back. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. So here's Trey Mancini. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Trey Mancini. 
and that's in there as well. 0-2 now. And he's going to start this inning out the same way he started the previous two. Seven consecutive strikeouts. My word. One away. Anthony Santander will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Throw gets him, two down. Into the box now, Hanser Alberto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes this the other way to right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Jorge Lopez takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 10, Andre So now to the plate, Andre Dawson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Lopez, a right-hander standing six foot three. His pitch repertoire includes a curveball, a four-seam fastball, a two-seamer, a changeup, and a slider. A bouncer to the left side. He's got a hurry. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now with the plate, Ryan Sandberg. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll send it on to first, and that'll freeze the runner at second with two away now. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what is he doing? He shows up, rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Got to sit middle-middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Stewart is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, D.J. Stewart. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. The catcher, Pedro. Pedro Severino will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on the proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. And here's a fastball called for strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Asher Wojciechowski enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Asher Wojciechowski. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Ernie Banks. 
That last at bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run. But listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. Throw on to first in time, one away. Digging in, Billy Williams. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Nick Castellanos at the plate now as he puts it on the ground to third. One there. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll, and stepping up as the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. They're starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped him up. Bryant shading to his right, one down. Now at the plate, Ryan Mountcastle. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. How about it? Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Renato Nunez is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Outside, 3-0 and now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Riding in once again, Jimmy Fox. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The catcher, Jimmy. First pitch of the at-bat. High in the air out to center field. Stewart is camped under this one and very quickly one gone. Now in the box, Garrett Cole. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here. Ready with the 0 2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Alberto ranges back and he has it for route number two. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Trey Mancini. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far, so hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
freezes him. A strikeout looking. Anthony Santander the next to bat. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Lifted the other way to left center. Half will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Strike one to start the at bat. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that means up next it'll be the Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. Andre. To short, hit hard, right to Iglesias. And there's one down now. Stepping in, Ryan Sandberg. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking ball stays high and misses for a ball. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, Oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This now, has the makings of being a long man. game. Oh, yeah. To the plate now, Chris Bryant. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and one. A ball and a strike now to Bryant. This one's flared off to the right side. Here comes Mancini. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Ernie Banks. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 6-0 ball game. Now back, first base Into the box, Billy Williams. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, D.J. Stewart. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he fouls this one off. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. He went down on strikes last time up. In there for strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now the 2-1. To 2-2 and two and two now. He's up to 100 pitches now, but he's still bringing the fastball pretty good. Nothing about that last throw tells me he's wearing down right now. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Offman. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Man, this dude is locked in on Swing and a miss. He's done it. 
A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Six runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left.